Hey, it's Jordan Winger, Senior Applications Engineer here at Hawker Systems. And today I'd like to show you some tips and tricks for rotating and translating actors in SOLIDWORKS Composer. So up on the Transform tab of the ribbon, we've got several tools to help us explode or translate or rotate our actors. And when you select an actor and use one of these tools, there'll be an icon that appears on the screen known as a gizmo. So depending on which tool you're using, you'll see different types of gizmos appear. But let's say we get into a situation where we want to translate an actor, but the gizmo is in a sort of a different orientation that's not going to allow us to translate in the direction that we want. In this case, I'd like to move this actor directly up and down on the screen, but as you can see when I translate it, it's moving at a slight angle. Now it's most likely due to the way that the model was created in the CAD software, but there's a couple simple ways we can get around this problem in Composer. And one of those ways is we can use a tool called the Curve Detection Mode. So up here I can toggle this mode on from my toolbar, or I can simply hold down the Alt key on the keyboard to activate this. And what Curve Detection Mode will do is it will allow me to pick up on edges and faces of model geometry so that I can change the pivot point or the translation direction that I want to move this actor along. The great thing about this tool is that it doesn't even have to be geometry from the same actor that you want to translate. I can use geometry from any of the actors here and pick up on other edges and faces. And once you pick something, you can see it fixes that problem, allows me to translate it straight up and down along an axis or an edge. So that's one way, using that curve detection mode. Another, th another thing that we can do is we can actually change the orientation of the gizmo. And we do, that, we do that by modifying what's called the pivot of the actor. So each actor has a, sort of a property called a pivot. And to see those items, we can turn on something called the pivot transformation mode. So the pivot shows up very similar to a gizmo. And this we can actually use to move where that pivot location is. We can translate it. We can rotate it. In fact, we can realign them to other items, other geometry, or other coordinate systems. So there's some alignment tools here as well, where I could say I want to align it to a new axis or line. Or in this case, if my world coordinate system sort of matches the direction that I want to translate in, I could simply just align the pivot to the world axis. So by doing that, it changes it, and now I can simply translate in the direction that I want. Alright, let's take a look at another scenario here as well. Let's say I want to translate two actors at the same time. You can always select multiple actors, and the gizmo will then appear at the center of the bounding box of all those actors you've selected. And that will allow me, of course, to move both of them at the same time, but I want to move them in different directions. So here's where these other two toggles come into play. I have something called multiple gizmos that I can turn on. And what that does, instead of having one gizmo show up in the center of the bounding box geometry, the gizmo appears at the pivot point of each of those actors. So now I've got some different directions that I can translate along, but I'm still not getting the result that I want. I want to have both of those actors move uh, along the x-axis of each of their own sort of local uh, gizmo. So that's where the final toggle here comes into play, the local transformation mode. If I turn that on and I select one of these axes, both the actors will translate in that direction. So it's a great little way to get a, a quick explode view without having to do it sort of one step at a time. Explode one actor, remember how far you've exploded it, and then do the same thing on the other actor. Now let's take a look at one more little scenario here too. Let's say that I want to translate each of these bolts out. So I'll select each of the bolts there. I can simply translate them. And then let's say I want to rotate them as well. So I'll switch to my rotate mode. When you're selecting which axis you want to rotate about, it can really help by using the Alt key on the keyboard. You can see if I hold down Alt as I'm selecting these, the rings sort of highlight and let me pick the appropriate axis that I'm going to ro rotate about. Now when I do that, you can see since I've got all these actors selected together and the gizmo appears at the center of the bounding box of all those geometry actors, uh, it's pivoting in a way that I don't want. So if we turn on the local transformation mode and the multiple gizmo mode, this will allow me to rotate 
about the axis of each individual actor here. From there I can create a quick little view and I can see that geometry move the way I want. So all these techniques will work in both the view mode or of course in animation mode as well. So try those out. Next time you need to translate or rotate an actor, see if you can get the desired results by using the multiple gizmos mode or the local transformation mode. So I hope those tips are helpful. Thanks for watching.